Hi everyone, it's Melissa from Chubby Acres and we're doing an update on our kids. Um, this is one of Cedar's kids, one of the three that were delivered via C-section. And um, one of the things when they go through the normal birthing process is they have um, neurotransmitters that have a nice, peaceful, calming effect on the babies while they're in utero. So they're not kicking around and being crazy in mom. And then as they go through the birth canal, they have about a 10 to 15 minute period basically of hypoxia where they're not getting a lot of oxygen because they're getting squeezed through the birth canal. And during that time when they get squeezed, those neurotransmitters get turned off and they get a signal basically to wake up and start breathing um, and stimulating their first breaths. And so that's the normal process that happens when they're delivered naturally. These guys via C-section are still a little bit dumpy, kind of just not acting 100% normal and they're having a little bit of trouble nursing. They're just kind of acting dull. So we're gonna go ahead and do what's called the Madigan squeeze, which is where we're going to put a squeeze around their chest to stimulate them going through the birth canal. And hopefully um, with that, we'll stimulate a little bit of turning that signal off and giving them the wake up signal so that they'll nurse a little bit better. And we usually are gonna hold that for about 10 minutes in the kids. And during that time, um, they'll be a little bit more calm and um, resting and then we'll release that squeeze and hope that they're nursing better on mom. So we'll go ahead and kind of show you how we set up and then we'll get everything situated. So this goes around the front shoulder. I'm trying to get this thing here. Hold on little baby. Push this through. So this one goes around the first shoulder like that. And then the next one is gonna go around again and loop through like that. And then you're basically just gonna keep doing that around the chest for three loops so that it's tight around their chest. And you want this basically around their rib cage, not around their stomach. So we're gonna go around one more time and then start squeezing down. So initially they're gonna struggle a little bit as we get the squeeze going and then hopefully they will start to rest. So we will show you guys in another kid what this looks like so we can get her situated because it's a two-person job from here. Okay, so we've got our number three kid here and we've just tightened down all of the strings and started doing the Madigan squeeze. And so what we have found is that if it's tight enough, typically they're going to stay and rest almost like they're a little bit sleepy without very much restraint. So we have to hold her like this for 10 minutes and then we're gonna slowly release the, the strings.